The next question, the member for London West. Uh, thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Education. Speaker, Danielle Deans is a teacher from London West. Her daughter was in childcare, and her son will be starting JK. The shortage of childcare and the uncertainty about the school year is creating significant stress for Danielle, who wonders how she can go back into the classroom if she can't find care for her own family. Sue Pullum, also from London West, has five school-age grandchildren whose parents are returning to work. Sue's husband has a health condition, and like many grandparents, they can't be expected to provide childcare if school is part-time. Speaker, if neither educators nor parents can find childcare, how does this minister expect students to be able to return to school? The Minister of Education, your reply. Thank you very much, Speaker, and thank you to the member opposite for the question. Uh, indeed, Speaker, the government has uh, permitted child care operators to reopen the province of Ontario. We're seeing reopening happening in all regions of Ontario, including in London uh, and across uh, that part of the province. And, Mr. Speaker, they're reopening because the province has provided sufficient funding and operating supports, of course, uh, in conjunction and collaboration with the federal government to ensure they remain sustainable. But we're also doing beyond ensuring the sustainability of our operators is we are providing an assurance to parents that that funding is contingent on a commitment by operators not to uh, not to increase fees on working parents and more so not to remove their space in the child care center. Mr. Speaker, we're going to continue to support parents through an investment that we're making to operators to ensure that they remain viable and sustainable. Speaker, child care operators are opening using a cohorted model of 10 students or eight students with two, up to two ECEs. We're doing that, Speaker, on the advice of the Chief Medical Officer of Health. I would hope the member opposite would support the medical advice, support our plan to keep kids safe. Order. The supplementary question. Speaker, another London West constituent told me that his wife is an ECE and has been recalled to work. Their daughter had been attending the same childcare centre his wife works at, but spots were raffled and they did not get a space. Their other two school-aged children will also need care if school is part-time. My constituent has been working throughout the pandemic, but is considering taking a leave from work to stay home with the kids. He was told by his employer that there are too many employees already on COVID leave and he may have to quit instead. Speaker, does this minister think that forcing people to quit their jobs because they can't find childcare will do anything to help Ontario's economic recovery? Minister of Education. Speaker, the, the government is ensuring that we're able to recover from the challenges of COVID-19 with a, with a plan of growth in the economy to create jobs and to sustain the workforce. But, Mr. Speaker, we also recognize that in order to do that, we need to have a sustainable and a viable child care uh, you know, system in the province of Ontario. It's why, Speaker, when we implemented the Phase 2 plan, we also enabled child care operators to reopen. We did that with a commitment to fund additional supports for operating costs in our, in our child care centres. We did that, Speaker, with additional support for PP and for cleaning. We also did it with guidance on health and safety protocols, a clear plan to cohort children up to eight to allow them to play together and be as normal as possible together under this new COVID reality. Speaker, our plan is to ensure parents are protected, Order. consumer protection placed by ensuring fees cannot increase, and likewise, the child space cannot be given to another person. That is what parents have asked for. It's what we're delivering in our plan, Speaker.